All right, folks, welcome to DCHL League's Game of the Week, or Games of the Week. Tonight, or today, we've got the special broadcast of this D4 matchup between the Gwendolyn Blue Knights. In blue, going from our left to right against the First Ladies. Eleanor, Team Eleanor. They have two teams in this division now, First Ladies do. It's uh, First Ladies Team Eleanor in black slash gray going from our right to left. I'm your play-by-play -play announcer, Such Chan. Special shout-out to Mandy Bramelow's family and friends watching in Michigan. This game was requested to be broadcast by her so her family and friends can watch. So we made it happen here, folks. We'll try to if we can it. So puck is dropped. Actually, ball's dropped, and we're underway here. In the zone. It's Casey in the corner. Behind the net centering pass. Played away by the aforementioned Mandy. Now down the floor. And in the zone comes Becca Newman now for the Blue Knights. Becca behind the net. Looking for a centering pass. Now of course to Matt D shot blocked up front. It's Emily, actually Jess Nayrod actually in the deep of the zone here for First Ladies. Can't control. Stolen by the Blue Knights. They have it. Becca. Centering pass or pass is not connected. Now it's Allison Cheatham. Allison in the zone for the First Ladies. Kept in by Jess Nayrod. Down low deep. Away from the goal. Goalies for the game right now. In goal for the Blue Knights. Ben Berger. And in goal for First Ladies is Adam Barrett. Shot by Blue Knights. Saved by Adam Barrett there. Matt on the floor it comes. Casey, centering pass does not connect. It's now Lindsay in, almost a breakaway there for FL. And now Maya, punches it in deeper, Jake Morris. Back to the point area, stolen by Lindsay. Here she comes, she's got three on two here, Lindsay does. Centering pass across the wide, missed him. Now a pass for the route, also missed the net as well too. Lindsay now to Dominic, Dominic shot on goal. Block the side, and Maya turns it around. Maya coming in, her pass does not connect. Lindsay now again, down low. Maya gets it back, Maya in the zone for FL. Their shot on goal is wide. Now back to the point area, Lindsay controls. Lindsay can't get out of the zone though, kept it nicely by Chris Day. Lina does get out of the zone. And now across the floor, it's offsides. Maya was in the zone offsides. Good call there by the referees as she was trapped in and played the ball for a faceoff to come out of the zone here. So, 12 3 to go here in this opening period. No score here between First Ladies Eleanor in their debut against the Gwinnell Blue Knights. Face off, drop down below. And now, Jess Nayrod will get in the zone here. Here comes Casey. Casey can't get around Lina though. Turn back around, out of the zone. Across the floor. And now coming through here is the ball all around the floor here. Chase down there. I believe it's Celeste. Correction, that's actually Claudine. Clues it down the floor, no ice to the call. And John Nuno for the Blue Knights. We'll start a circle here. John waits, turns it over. Casey in the corner, has it, waiting. Centering pass across the floor. Allison could control it. John will try to clear it again. Kept in by Jess Nayrod. Hillary bailing him out. Loose puck down the floor. That could be icing. It deflected actually, so it's not icing. Good call there by referee Patrick Noyes. With the icing eligibility off, as a result, face off. There's no face off, actually, play continues. Now it's Meg Noyes. Megan in the zone. Jake Morris to Becca. Here comes the Blue Knights. Austin Keach in his Blue Knight debut. Oh, wait. Toss turn around. Pass now down low deep. Battling is Diane with Austin. Diane wins the battle. Megan. Neutral zone, trying to clear it. Back in the zone now, Chris Day. Across to Megan. Megan in the zone. 
Maya can't control but punches it deeper instead. Cindy will chase it. Cindy behind the net turns it over to Mandy. Mandy now on the wing to Becca. Becca will wait. Becca turns it over. Nice pitch in there by Christe. Christe will fire a shot saved by Ben Brooker, the goalie, for a face off to his stick side. So, not too many shots early on. Maybe one on each side. Blue Knights promoting after winning the cup last season to D4. First ladies who won the cup in D4 put together two teams this season. So they've got two different rosters. This is the first ladies Eleanor team. Hand pass that was missed actually by Patrick Noyce behind him. He didn't see it. Should have a hand pass there. Um, and now it's the Blue Knights coming in the zone. Matt on goal. Adam Barrett puts it aside. The goalie for the first ladies. Behind the net, Diane. Diane now cross. Can she get out of the zone? Yes, Casey does. In the zone, shot is wide. Now, below us, it's Jake Morris to Lindsay. Lindsay, can't get it to uh, Austin. Chris Day with the turnover. Shot on goal, and a good save there by Ben Berger. And now across the floor, out of the zone, the Blue Knights will counter. Lindsay in the four check. Casey to get the ball back though. Casey, shot saved by goaltender Ben Berger. Mandy now, can't get out to Jake. Jake, still in his own zone. Jake will wait in the corner. Jake will circle. Now back to the point area, out of the zone. It could be icing. It may be icing. It is icing. For a face off coming back into the Blue Knight zone. So 8.50 left in this opening period. No score here between the Blue Knights and First Ladies Eleanor. Referee for the game today are Patrick Noyes, looking studious in his glasses, and Joe Shea with his often worn bandana. Face off won by First Ladies, Maya, to Megan. Megan in the corner, looks for a centering pass, guarded by, Lin, uh, by Lina. Megan now centering pass, but no one home. It's number 44, I'm not sure who that is, that player. Across the floor. Now drop pass to John Nuno. John Nuno, Sean goal saved there. Rebound is loose and Jess Nidal will corral it. Jess in the corner, being pressured by a blue knight. Jess trying to move the puck along. And she puts it out. Shot on goal by the blue knights. Loose on the floor. And out of the zone puts Megan Noyes around. Megan, slight partial break, but Lena catches up to her. And the Blue Knights will turn it back around. Maybe, nope, they turn it over. Now they get it back as well, too. A lot of turnovers here. No ball control early on in this game here. Now it's Megan, gets around Lena. Megan got a slight edge across the floor. Oh, good idea. Maya gets the ball, but the shot did not come through. She couldn't get a shot off. Megan up behind the net, still battling with John Nuno. Now across the floor, good job by Dominic to clear that ball away from the crease area. Daniel the crease, now it's gonna be icing call against the Blue Knights. So they'll go back in their own zone here with 7 4 to go in this opening period. Folks, remember if you wanna check out all the uh, stats, feel free to go to our website, playdchl.com for live stats of this game. Also, if you watch this broadcast, feel free to engage and ask questions or make comments. As I have time, I will try to answer them for you and give you more information. It's Aubrey Keach in the zone. Casey in her own zone will try to chase it down. Diane behind the net, now in the corner. Diane waiting across the floor. Casey has it. Casey to Allison. Allison gets out of the zone. No ice to the call. None deserved there. Good call by the referees there on that play. Jake Morris now will circle behind his own net, pound, pounded by Allison Cheatham. Jake waiting. Now it's Hillary. Shot on goal, put aside. Mandy playing well there. Down low. Casey shot deflected wide. No great chances so far. Now here comes one from Hillary. Here shot over the uh, net. Hillary had a quick shot, chance of a shot there. Did not materialize. Now it's Casey dumping it down low for Hillary. Hillary back to Casey. Nope, the ball was stolen by Mandy. Nice job by Mandy that time. 
And it's Matt D with Austin and Lindsay. Matt D gets in the zone, then circles around. Kept in by Mandy. Moves ball and punched out by Casey. So 5.20 to go here. No score here. No really serious great chance so far in this opening, opening period. Not to neutral zone play. That's a chance on the outside, but no real true good quality shots here. David Bramelow saying, thank you for streaming the game. No problem, Mr. Bramelow. Hope you're enjoying it. So far, you're... So far, I believe it's, if it's your daughter, I'm assuming you're the father. I'm not sure, but if I'm wrong, I, I apologize. But so far, Mandy's played well. Hand pass there. And it's called sharp play by Joe Shea. He caught that hand pass from Dominic. And the faceoff will come out of the zone for the uh, Blue Knights to regain the zone here. So thank you, Mr. Bromwell, for watching. If you're watching in Michigan, thank you for tuning in. Face off to our far side. To one zone deeper, correct? Correct call by the referees. Joe Shea with the drop. Across the floor. Down low and deep. Shot on goal. Adam Barrett has it. He'll punch it away. Down low below us. Mandy. Actually, it's Rebecca in the corner. Now Claudine for the uh, first ladies. Across to Jess Nera. Jess will start the breakout pass. Jess in the zone. Dumps it in. John Nuno will chase it. John in the corner to the wing. The Blue Knight there turns it over though to Maya. Maya will punch it in deeper. Cycling now are Megan, Maya, and Jess Nerod though. The ball eludes Maya and it comes out of the zone. Maya gets it back in neutral zone. Maya two on two. Nice play by John Nuno to take that ball away from her. And Jess Nadar will chase it down her own zone. 3.30 to go here. No score between the Blue Knights. And first place, Eleanor now shot blocked. John Nuno shot's blocked now. Rebound shot is on goal. Saved by Adam Barrett. Dominic will turn and fire wide behind the goalie. Becca Newman now in the corner right below us. Becca waits, looking for a centering pass. Being guarded by Maya. Becca will circle around, get away from Maya. She'll now center it, but the shot was blocked, the pass was blocked. Diane, in her own corner now, gets it out of the zone to Maya. Maya to Cindy. Can't kick it out though. Control, here comes John with the shot. Oh, great save there. First great shot of the game there. John Nuno coming in for the point, straight down, highway. Adam Barrett stood tall there, made that great save. Ball behind the net. <laughs> Excuse me. Hillary now punching it across. Well, I apologize if I cough over here. It's got a little bit of sore throat, folks, so we'll get to the broadcast. But hopefully using too much words and too much vocal cords. Kept in by the Blue Knights. Here comes John Nuno again. Away from the goal, though. Circling now, centering pass off the goalie. That was a, maybe a wheel that we may have missed. That. I couldn't tell there. Now across the floor, Lina has it. Lina comes in, fires wide. Controlled by the blue light in the corner, number 44. Across the floor, got through rebound shot. Good save there again by Adam Barrett. Great chance on the rebound for John Nuno. Adam stood tall. Ball is loose the corner again. First ladies trying to get out of the zone. They cannot. Punched in deeper by Dominic. Diane kept in by Dominic. Loose the floor. Diane finally gets it out of the zone. That could be icing. And that will be icing. So. I see against the first ladies who were really that time. They were really trapped in the zone for a long time. They're finally able to clear and ice the ball. Face off will come back to Adam Barrett's stick side with about 90 seconds to go here in this opening period. Two good scoring chances there for the uh, for the Blue Knights. But Adam Barrett's been tall so far. Draw one. Control. Mandy has it. Mandy across to Austin. Austin to Lindsay. She can't control. And turned over and in the zone now are the first ladies across the floor. Matt D in the zone now for the Blue Knights. Matt will get around defender. Matt's got a chance. Oh, shot goes high. Matt broke through that time between two defenders. Got through on a breakaway. But his shot was high and wide. Now Matt D will circle in the corner. His centering pass hits his feet. 
Hillary turns it over. Shot blocked. First ladies reeling here so far late in the second in the first period. Dominated in the late stages by the Blue Knights. Allison Cheatham can't get it out. Now down. Austin took a mat, mat shot wide and held on to very smartly by goal from Adam Barrett here. So either the shot's going wide and or saved by Adam Barrett as we're still scoreless here as the clock winds down. About 10 seconds to go here. 10 seconds or less to go here in this opening period. Now shot by Jake Morris. Seen clearly by Adam Barrett. And that should do it, folks, for the first period. So there's the official horn at the end of the first period. No score between the Blue Knights and First Ladies Eleanor. Two more periods to go here in this D4 DCHI matchup. The debut games are both the Blue Knights. And also, first I don't know, their initial, their opening game for the season here. Take a little look at the uh, F, uh, the uh, Blue Knights bench. Shot instructions as well. Second period about to start here. The Knights ready to go. First ladies ready to go. And we're now about to drop the puck here. I always say puck, but I mean ball. For the uh, second half, second period of the scoreless game. Goalies going back into the creases. Perfect Patrick Norris going to drop the ball. Now the Blue Knights going from our right to left. And the First Ladies. Eleanor going from our left to right. Here we go. Second period now underway here. The Blue Knights in the zone, but first ladies gets out of the zone. Now back to the corner here. I believe it's offsides coming up here as the uh, Blue Knights will cut the zone offsides. Face off will be right below us with Joe Shea. Face off one, controlled by First Ladies, but turned over. Across now, in the zone deep. Adam Barrett behind his own net. We'll play it across to defender Diane. Diane waits to the wing, to Megan. Megan gets it. Megan, can she get out of the zone? She cannot. Good foot check by the Blue Knights there. Now Megan. Back to Diane. We'll try it again here. Diane. Down the floor. Off Lena. No icing. Cindy on a semi break, but we control the ball. And the face off will be to Ben Berger's right side. About one minute into the second period. No score between the Blue Knights and First Ladies Eleanor. Don't forget, folks, two more, at least one more game will be streamed later on. This game right behind us. Right after us, debut of the D2 Ball Hogs with some of the Gwendolyn players involved, like Becca and Teal, against the Jaeger Bombs. Jaeger Bombs. Now a shot there, almost a chance and a goal there from Matt D, who got through. Couldn't control the ball though, and Adam Barrett pounced on it for a face-off. So face-off now to Adam Barrett's. Left side confirming that David indeed is the father of Mandy. Joined also here now to my left-hand side by Sam Brinker, a fellow Gwendolyn here. Sam, welcome to the broadcast. Thanks, Ed. Thanks, Ed. Good to be here. Sam is going to maybe come and chime in some color commentary here as we go along here. No score so far. No, The chances so far has been in favor of the Blue Knights. And Adam Barrett's been tall so far now. In the corner, Jess Nayrod. Four checked by Lindsay. Jess behind the net. Across to Claudine. Claudine trying to get it out. She cannot. Kept it nicely by Mandy there to Matt. Matt will fire. Easy save there by Golden Adam Barrett. He saw it clearly for a face off to his glove side. And this is the new look Blue Knights, right? Because last team, last year season, it was only the Gladiators for Gwendolyn in D4. That's correct. That's yeah, correct. They did. So. It was, it's a promotion oh, yeah. for the red team that won the cup. 
and the red team promoted up to D4 as well. So Guadalupe's right. got two D4 teams. One re new rec team, but they have also a D3 team. Wendelin providing so four teams. this is the promoted rec team? That's correct. All oh, right. The promoted good, rec good team. Good look for a yes. recently promoted rec team. I remember we've had, we've had a couple rec teams kept in order to play this is Crazy Eights. Um, yes. And the first the transition can be a it little takes bit a while. Yes. interesting because as a very positional game, especially against first ladies, we're so positionally strong. They, uh, they will, will beat you in, by uh, picking the right places. Huh? Just project the voice now. Just project if you oh, can. Oh, I got you. Yeah. So, uh, so I'm asking a call comedy to project his voice so the, the people can hear him as well, if too. I'm mumbling, I'm sorry. That's, That's not okay. my problem. <laughs> no, 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 you're right. Uh, this is, of course. Yeah. Jake down low with a uh, uh, clearing pass, stopped the point by number 18 for the first ladies. Who is that? Got Man, a DC it, Venom shirt on. Uh, it's, that's Diane Kramer. Diane Kramer. Yeah. Now down low, it's uh, Lindsay in the corner, battling with Maya. Good forecheck by Lindsay. Diana really behind the net. Player. Moved over from Street Sharks, right? Yes, she did. She actually, yeah, no, she's not yeah. Street Sharks. Second team now is, is Gwendolyn, so she's taking over playing two teams now. I played uh, outdoor hockey. Ooh, off facing uh, Jake Morris. Good thing he's got that helmet. <laughs> yes, <laughs> helmet throw. A necessity thing here as well, too. Um, we're joined by Eric Dees as well, too. I and see Edie, Edie also. Ladies. Yep. Edie Schultz also watching. Edie Schultz, a member of the other First Ladies team, watching as well. Interesting division where... The team, the game we're seeing right now, are the teams that have two teams. They, these are the friends that have two teams in, in both division, one on each side. So we actually have a split division, what we call the Atlantic and the Metropolitan Division. And these two teams are facing off for the first time. It's our debut season here. It's a team. fascinating division to follow. It's uh, got the most teams overall. Yes, eight teams. We add two more this year as well, too. Now, shot on goal shot by no, John no. Nuno, who's put aside by Adam Barrett in the corner. Adam is such a strong goalie, a new addition this season. Yes, Adam has joined the First Ladies he as a goalie. He's in the NHL team, and that was one of our wins this season for Ugly Pucklings. He's a great goalie. Yes, good ice hockey goalie, in, in my opinion. But then give him about a year or so, he might be the top five goalie in our league here. Shout on goal. Absolutely, on, love uh, to play in front of him. Shout on goal on Ben Berger, your, your, your friend there who's playing yes. goal. Your ben thoughts on Ben Berger as a goalie? Ben Berger is progressing so rapidly. He he is positionally one of the most sound goalies. He's working on those reflexes and those rebounds and uh, uh, transitioning between butterfly and stand-up, and I'm looking forward to seeing how he progresses in the years to come. Absolutely. Ben started in our league as a defender, but just recently also playing deep in. Yes, I I only one or two losses, if I recall yes. correctly. Yeah. Um, now playing in front of Ben is a good luck charm. <laughs> Punch out of the zone here. Claudine. Put it back in the zone. Got a real FL. Going on right now. FL uh, all right, all right. Shot on goal. Blocked now. And cleared on the floor. No icing there. Icing is waved off. No call. Good call there. John Nuno. No, no, no. Back on defense. An interesting positional choice. I have only played with John up or at center. Um, so it's interesting to see uh, Gwendolyn choose to put him back. Interesting. He is, he is such a strong player. You can put him anywhere and he'll do whatever. Yeah, he's a good two-way player both ways. Stole by Maya. Maya. Will fire! Blocked Stop nicely by John. John. And now the floor could be icing, and it will be icing against First Ladies. I got correction, against Gwendolyn. <laughs> Face off will come back now onto Patrick Noy's stick side here. Again, well, so no score. Way down, downstairs. Thank you, John, uh, for joining Sam. us, Sam. I appreciate it. <laughs> Sam chiming in his thoughts for a few minutes before he goes downstairs. 8.24 to go here, and again, no score. And now, Austin Keach in the zone. Can't control though. No support. Out of the zone. Here comes FL. Cindy. Maya gets it. Maya down low deep. Ben Berger gets to it first. So Jake Morris controls for Blue Knights. And the ball gets cleared down the floor. Chased down by Chris Day Lodge, number 10. Chris Day across to Diane. Diane now past Megan. Jake Moore's in his own zone. Jake will punch it back into the FL defensive zone. A lot of volley ball, a pinball action so far in this game. No real control. Now Austin has it. Austin, centering pass, almost got through the mat, but that was blocked nicely by Diane. Diane blocks it again. Now across the floor, Diane to the wing, but turned over. Here comes Matt D. Matt will fire. Good save. Rebound loose. Great save there by Adam Barrett. Down the floor, Manny couldn't get to it first. Now Manny will chase the ball. Number 77. Behind the net, across the floor to our defensive partner, Jake Morris. Jake 
We'll wait. Nice four check there by Megan. Steals it from Jake. Mandy can't control. Back in the point area. Chris Day fires. Blocked up where somewhere. In the corner it goes. Now behind the net. Loose. And Ben Berger sees it to his side and will pass on it for a face off. With 6.50 to go here in the second period. No score between the Blue Knights, NFL. Face off. One, controlled though by the Blue Knights and punched out all the way on the floor. Could be icing, but no, the race is won by the Blue Knights. Good job by the Blue Knights to race that puck out and win it. They gain the icing. Now Casey, three on two potentially. Down low, punched in. Manny with a good stick there. Becca out of the zone. And now across the floor, Casey will fire shot wide. Controlled by Jake Morris. Jake down low to Miller time. Across now in the zone comes Becca. Becca in for the Blue Knights. Gets around Claudine. Centering pass right there. Oh, good play there. Centering pass actually got off of a stick or foot of Becca and goalie Adam Barrett saw it clearly being sharp then grabbed it immediately to go on goal there. So he'll take a face off to his glove side. Face off one by FL. Down low. Punched in by the Blue Knights. Point area, Lena keeps it in. Hillary, out of the zone. And it's John Nuno who will try to control it. Across the floor, Jess Nayrod turns it over. Dominic, almost a breakaway here. Now a shot by Becca on goal with a, with a sprung free. Dominic for a rebound, did not connect, does not go on it actually. He's blocked somewhere in front. Centering pass, loose rebound, there's loose. Oh, what a great save there by Adam Barrett. Austin Keith doing the Yeoman's work going to the crease area. The ball got through somehow, some way, had a chance, a couple of swipes at it, but Adam Barrett made both saves. Standing tall, Adam Barrett so far has been the MVP of this game. The scoreless tie. Face off will be to his glove side. Face off one. Controlled though by first ladies Eleanor. We're gonna call him FLE. Centering pass across the floor. Blocked. Maya back to the point. Where Megan will kill out of the zone here. And Cindy will chase down the floor. No icing the call. The pass came from the neutral zone. So it's not icing, icing eligible. Now, Matt D. Breaking through. Matt D in the zone. Waits. Comes through. His shot is blocked. Can be held in by Lina. She'd have to go back and chase it out of the zone here. In the back of the defensive zone. Now Matt D. One more time. Gets around Maya. Maya fires. Loose rebound. Adam Barrett again. Sees it. And quickly covers up for a faceoff to his stick side this time. With 3.30 to go here in the second period. Again, we're scoreless here. No goals so far. No penalties so far, if I recall correctly, either. So... John Nunez from the point, blocked. Lena across the floor. Maya now to Megan. Megan coming in for first ladies. Now dropped to Maya. Maya shot held on to by Bedberger for a face off to his stick side. Now being joined, viewing the game, adding on is Brad Wilson, who played earlier for IPA with their impressive 5-0 win. Maybe 6-0 over the Zambronis. Also being joined by Melissa Keach, who also played earlier. Impressive with the High Rollers in their 4-0. I think it was 3-0 win, if I recall correctly. So, thank you for joining us. This game is scoreless. 2 to go here. Casey with the steal. Casey has it. She'll fire wide, though. <clears throat> Mandy behind the net. Mandy to Jake. Jake turns it over to... Casey, Casey shot again, misses the net. So a couple of turnovers. Doesn't cost the Knights there. Ball below us. Kept in by the first ladies. Mandy turns it over again. It's time to uh, K. 
Casey. Casey waits, looking for a centering pass. Mandy going to go check her, defend her. Now it's Hillary. Hillary will fire. Good block there by Jake Morris. Got it back by Hillary. Casey's got it again. Casey's shot is blocked. So that foul now showing some pressure. Allison to Hillary. Hillary's shot goes wide. Casey gets it in the slot area. Now across the four pass, misses Allison. She tries to return the favor. Casey had to. Casey will shoot it. Ooh, rebound is loose. Casey again. Good save there by Ben. Rebound still there. And Ben there. Ben Berger with three great saves there. A one-timer shot from Casey in deep. He stopped that. Record rebound chance from Hillary. He stopped that. And then he pounced the rebound a second time. So Ben Berger coming up with some big saves there for the Blue Knights. Keeping this game scoreless. Face off one by the Blue Knights. Across. In the zone, they're kept in by Chris Day. Down low, Mandy hits it. Now Matt D will turn it around. Matt D in the zone. He can our defender. Matt D will wait. Oh, he always going to shoot the puck, but it trickled wide. Now it's Maya. Can't get it out. On goal. Was the attempt made by the FL. Now they get it ball back. And down the floor, they put it down. No icing is the call here. 38 seconds to go here. Jake Morris will circle. Austin Keach to Mandy. Mandy, grab below. Across the floor. Ball was deflected. Jake Morris gets to it first. Mandy again. Playing well. She asked for uh, this game to be broadcasted and uh, probably play one of her best games I've seen her play in a while. She hasn't played very many games, but. Uh, She's been impressive this game so far, playing defense. Down low, Jake Morris, across. Becca Newman, out of the zone. Punch back around pretty quickly by FL. FLE, first lady's Eleanor, and that will do it for this second period. So the buzzer goes off, sounding the end of period number two. Again, no score here, folks, between first lady's Eleanor and the Glen Blue Knights. One appeared to go here. Zero, zero. So Matt D saying same exact thing, but more shots on goal. At the huddle there for the Blue Knights. First ladies huddle down here. Hillary giving that instructions. Go to Eddie Barrett. Patient in. And about to get started with the third period here, folks. One, two, three, five. So, third and final period about to start here. No score here again between the Blue Knights. Now going again from our left to right. And FLE, First Ladies Eleanor going from our right to left in block. Face off, one by First Ladies. Here comes Casey. She means business. She's gonna circle fire though, blocked nicely by John. John, they get out of the zone, to the wing, and will it go out of the zone? Yes, it will. Now come back to the zone, Claudine, for Hillary. Hillary cuts across. Three on two here. Hillary, waiting for a center pass. Oh, it's loose. And now across the floor, and down the zone, the Blue Knights come in. Joined here by Eric Tavernier. We call him E.T. Eric here watching the Blue Knights in it. Their debut in D4. 0-0 score here, Eric. It's, it's a, yep, exactly. A whole lot of going on. No penalties, no scoring here. Lots of neutral zone play here. Adam Barrett's been pretty good for the uh, FL, keeping him in the game. Adam Berger also had three or four good saves so far as well. Now it's Dominic. I would have called Dominic there. out for playing in pajamas. <laughs> That's right. Dominic rumbling and bumbling across the floor to Lindsay. Lindsay centering pass. Dominic can't get to it. 
Mr. Pajama Pants, Dominic, he's looking for the ball here. John Nuno, trip, nope, no call, I don't think it was a trip anyway, so. And a shot on goal by John Nuno is held on to. What's this new goalie's name? Oh, it's a high stick call here coming up here. The goal is Adam Barrett. He's pretty good. He's very good. And it's going to be a penalty coming up here on FL. I believe it's Claudine for high sticking. And it looks like the first power play of the game will go to the Gwendolyn Blue Knights here. 13-19 to go here in this third period of a scoreless score here. Eric also plays for the Gwendolyn franchise, as we call it. Across the floor, down the floor it goes. Chased down by Jake Morris. Power play clock is now ticking here on the Blue Knights. Diane Kramer turns it over. Becca with a shot. Good save by Adam Barrett. He saw it. No rebound. What you want to see for a quick face off to his tick side. So when you're penalty killing, you want to make that save and take that face off to kill, up more, more, to kill off more of the clock here. Now Becca Newman again fires. Why this time off the face off? Austin Keach in the corner, waits, comes across the floor. Maya with a good clear on the floor here. No icing because they're shorthanded. And Jake Morris will go back to his own net, in his own zone, to uh, get the ball out. Becca now three on two here. Three on three, Becca in the zone. Chase it down, battling with Chris Day. Chris Day gets the ball first though. Kept in by Matt D, Matt will wait. Matt waits, comes out from the main point area here. He'll circle. Has space and time, Matt. Turns it over though. Yep, he went too far. Too much to go on that time. And he turns it over for a face off. Actually, for a clear. Hey, Matt, your points were open. As Eric T. shots out instructions to his Gwendolyn team. Now it's Jake Morris in the zone. Chris Day trying to get it cleared. Kept it nicely by Brad Mandy. Mandy's shot on goal there. It's more of a pass or a dump in controlled by Maya. Maya. The point area, knocked down Boy. by Becca. Becca shot on goal is blocked. Mandy comes in, down low deep. And Austin can't get to it. But State turns it over though. Austin gets it back. Austin, across the floor, pass blocked. Casey, can she clear? Yes she can, just past Mandy Bramlow's, Bramlow's foot. As the penalty time picks away here for FL. FL now is full strength. Across the floor in the zone. Chris Day. Stolen by Lindsay. Lindsay turns around, fires, but it's blocked up front. With Pajama Boy could not get to it. Dominic, that is. And now offsides and now clearing the zone are the Blue Knights to reset. Diane. Way too tall for Cindy. That's going to be an icing call. Jake did not hear the whistle. Icing is the call. Face off will come back to Adam Barrett's stick side here. No score here again. What is that uh, icing? It is icing, yes. By the way, your mic is on the bottom. Oh, is there? I did not realize that. I believe so. Uh -huh. It's on this side. Okay. There's a little tiny hole right there. Okay. And a new mic? You want to put the mic in there? No, the mic is arriving, the one, right? Coming out. Yeah, so whatever, when you're talking, if you hold your hand like that, it might compromise the audio. Gotcha. And now across the floor, in the zone, Blue Knights. FL controlling. FL. Can't get to it though, as here comes Lindsay, three on two, potentially. Across the floor, in the zone. I'm not sure number 44 is. Can you tell me number 44 is, Eric? Oh, he's a new player. He says Miller. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for the information. <laughs> I've been calling him Miller time as well too. So yeah, I don't. I don't know him. That could be the other. Um, looks like it's a. Uh, I think it's the call. And they'll come down in the corner. I don't know how the guy was. I just wasn't paying attention that time, Eric T. So I missed that call. But apparently it was I see against Gwendolyn. When do you play again, Eric? What's your next game? Punk Masters at 620. 620. Gotcha. Now down the floor. Face off one and go past Gwendolyn. Goalie Ben Berger. In the corner. Out of perfect now came from Casey. Casey's having pass. Oh, what a shot! I believe it was saved by Ben Berger there. Great play there by Casey. 
to Hillary. Down the floor, that could be icing, but the goalie comes out. Adam Bear to play it. And now Jess Nairon. Jess Nairon is battled in this battle of the, the two teams, the two teams in the division, Gwendolyn and and the and Gwendolyn and Vest Ladies. Austin Keach. Oh! Could have been a penalty there. Ref said no. Kept in the zone. Temporarily. Casey now. In a very slow, methodical game here. Can't get it into her zone. Out of her zone, actually. Down the floor it goes. For a face off and go for you. Centering pass. Missed by Austin. And Chris Figueroa. It's been a no score, scoreless affair so far. 0 0. Only one penalty so far. Just recently uh, against the First Ladies, but 0 uh, 0. With 7.50 to go here in this third period. Opening game of the new season for both teams. Megan dumps it down in the zone. And then chases, but ice on the floor here. It would have been icing, but the goalie came out, so no icing the call. Chris Day across the floor in the zone deep. Megan. Megan now in the corner, battling. Controlled by John Nuno. John gets across, 2 on 1 potentially here. Nice play there by Chris Day to save that. Diana in the zone will put it down low. Lena in the corner. The point here is stolen by Maya. Maya now back to Cindy. Drop back to even Chris Day. Chris Day can't control it though. Lina cannot corral the ball in her own zone, in the opposite zone. Now Megan turns it around. Megan puts it in deep, controlled by Matt D. Dangerous comes out in front of the goalie. Could have been costly that time. Stolen nicely there by Cindy. Maya and Lina battling. John Nuno can't get it out. Shot coming up by Cindy's blocked. Diane keeps it in. Her shot is deflected in the corner. Across the floor. Megan now in the corner. Megan bumped off the play. Down the floor it comes. John Nuno. He's got a shot here. Oh, pass almost got through. And now Chris Day. Turning it around. Chris Day in the zone. Chris Day in the corner. Controlled now by Pajama Boy. DCHL version. Which is Dominic. Now, Allison Cheatham battling with Jake Morris. Allison to the point area. On the floor, here comes Casey. Casey's shot is playing. Rebound's loose. Casey with an empty net. Can't control it. Ball still loose. Hillary cannot corral it. And a faceoff will be to the goalies. Glove side. So great chance there for Casey in a semi break. And the face off will be to goalie Ben Burgers. Glove side. Do you have a backup scorer or a backup player for Daniel? He just lost Boris. So he has to be the player to score. You've got a backup scorer. I don't have one. Can you get somebody to score before? Um, yeah. I, I can score. If you can score, if you can score, and then um, oh, I'll do the game. Chip, do you? Do you want to do? Folks are discussing the uh, doing uh, two things at once, doing play-by-play -play and also at the same time figure out scores. Well, to do score again, awesome. Thank you. Um, Eric T is going to score next game, so we can broadcast our next game as well. To Casey Hansen. Uh, Eric, in the corner now. Thank you. Kept in by Jess Neron. And now Casey. Gets around a player. Casey got a chance there. Shot is blocked though. Now another shot goes behind the net from uh, Hillary. FL swarming right now. Hillary across. Oh, chance for Allison. Her backhand's wide. Hillary on the rebound. Back to the point area. Claudine now. Across the floor, shot, oh, it went in! <coughs> a one-time shot, and Ben Berger didn't expect that shot. It was a weird Bam Bam shot. Either he was asleep, or it was just too fast for him. It beat Ben, 
And Casey's goal, I believe, has given the lead now to FL Eleanor. With 3.40 to go here, we have a first goal in the game here from Casey. And the Blue Knights, with 3.40 to go, are trailing one nothing. So a harmless shot that Ben Berger just didn't see or didn't react to fast enough. And he beat him from the high point area. A goal we probably like to have back. And just like that, FL strikes and they have a lead. Here comes John. Here comes the uh, Miller Time player. Turns it over to Casey. Three on two for FL. Now it's Megan. Her shot is held on to uh, for a face off to Ben Brigger's glove side. So we finally have a goal here, folks, late in this game here. We'll stand up. We'll find out. Three minutes to go here. FL striking with about three and a half to go, 3.45 to go, actually. Now across the floor, Diane, down low. Mandy Bramelow behind her own net. Time taken away here, 2.40 to go here. Lindsay, across the floor to Matt. Matt, around. Chris Day, Matt, one on four right now, one on three. Matt waiting for a trailer. That trailer doesn't come through though, and Megan gets to it first. Megan will put you in the zone. Now a little more desperation here from, from uh, Gwendolyn Blue Knights. There's their trailer in the game, one up there now. Down the floor could be icing, and it will be icing against the FLE. 2.12 to go here. Eric D saying, let's go, Mandy. She's played very well, Eric. Uh, extremely well, been impressed with her game so far. But unfortunately, her team gave up a late goal. They, they trail right now, 1-0. They're going to tie the game up here with 2.20 to go. In the zone. Offensive zone for Blue Knights. Jess Nairod across the floor. Claudine behind the net. Jess Nairod can't get to it first. Austin Keach, his pass is blocked. John Nuno gets it. John will come around, shoot, save, rebound, loose. John Nuno, will it go in? No! Good job by Adam Barrett to swap both rebounds. Adam Barrett has to be the player of the game so far, yes. Casey scored, but Adam Barrett has made some spectacular saves here. He's the reason why FL is up 1-0. Clock ticking away here, one eleven to go now. John Nuno's shot is blocked. No goalie here, six attacker on. So that is empty for the Blue Knights. Across the floor, Matt D missing a one-timer. That's off the mooring. Clock should stop. Should be 55 seconds. 55 seconds. 55. Joe. 55. 55 on the clock. And there we go, clock's been adjusted here. Celeste, a foul player watching as well. Seeing if our team can hold on here with 55 seconds to go here, they're up 1-0. And on the floor it goes, so Blue Knights to chase their own zone here with an empty net. Lina, forechecked, but gets it across to Becca. Becca across the floor, turned over. Neutral zone, Casey battling. Now across the floor. In the zone comes Claudine across to Megan, but the pass was behind her. Now Megan just trying to eat time up. Puts in deeper. FL doing a good job of not letting the uh, Willem Blue get out of the zone. They finally do though. Just there, Rod. Can she get out of the zone? Yes, she does. Now it's Matt D with eight seconds to go. He'll fire a shot. Celeste will chase it down. Four seconds to go here. Three, two, one. Penalty coming up late on Matt D. And that will do it, folks. A late call against Matt D, but that might just go in the penalty book, but no power play. As FL, FL Eleanor, first place Eleanor, win their debut game. 1-0 over the Little Blue Knights. I've been your play-by-play -play announcer, Such Chan. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Hope you enjoyed the game, the broadcast. If you're watching elsewhere in Michigan and anywhere else as well, too. A new game is coming up here. Next game will be also broadcast as well, too. Look for that momentarily here. But thank you for joining us. We'll see you shortly for the next game. This is Such Chan signing off.